Devin Booker has become one of the most versatile scorers in the NBA. There are few things on an NBA court that he cannot do offensively. He takes tough mid-range shots, threes, and he's become one of the best finishers in the NBA. He's even added an occasional highlight dunk or poster to his game. Devin Booker has a bit of an old school game. Of all the top 10 scorers in the NBA, the only players who shoot less three-pointers than Devin Booker are Giannis, AD, and Russell Westbrook. He still shoots threes, but he also does a lot of damage from mid-range and at the rim. Versatility is the word. In this video, I'm going to break down something about Devin Booker's game that's pretty unique for today's NBA. We're talking about plays that begin with Devin Booker catching the ball under the three-point line. Booker catches the ball in places that old-school shooting guards do. Players like Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Tracy McGrady, and even forwards like Carmelo Anthony. The damage that he does for a player at his position in those places is relatively unique for young scorers in the NBA. A lot of what he does is just a catch and go like this, often off a curl or a horn set and a big man setting a screen. This is lethal. He's so efficient with his movements and such a threat from everywhere that he's more than capable of running his man into a screen. But let's talk about when he catches it not on the move. He does two things, posts up and faces up. First, let's talk about the post up. Devin Booker posts up in transition often. He'll run hard and force a cross match to ensure that a smaller, usually point guard is matched up against him. This is a disaster for opposing teams. Devin is strong enough and savvy enough to punish anyone guarding him. What's impressive about a Devin Booker post up is the amount of ways that he can score. He'll beat up smaller players by manhandling them all the way to the rim and making an easy shot from close range. He has the up and under move that's usually reserved for big men and a bevy of fakes and hesitations. He also has the ability to spin over both shoulders. Here on Derek White, he has him pinned deep, but he sees the help defense start cheating baseline to take away the spin towards the rim. Derek is ready for that baseline spin because for a right-handed shooter like Devin Booker to turn over his right shoulder and release with his right hand is pretty hard. The release point has to be high and there's a good chance that the shooter's feet will not be square, which Booker's are not. Devin has the touch, the footwork, and the release point to get it off over Derek. Here he has the mismatch with Corey Joseph, who's a good defender, but it doesn't matter. He smoothly spins away from contact and creates enough space to get the shot off. In this one, he spins over his left shoulder on his frenemy, Damian Lillard. If you're smaller, he'll bully you. If you're bigger and stronger, he'll spin or he'll step back. Either way, Devin Booker is one of the most effective guards at posting up in the NBA. The other old school element of Devin Booker's game when he catches it under the three point line is the face up. And Devin Booker in a triple threat facing up is dangerous and I mean dangerous. He'll blow by you, he'll jab step you to death, he can spin, he can shoot over you, he can fake you out, every move is there but what I find the most impressive is his efficiency of movement. Nothing is wasted in his triple threat. There are players who use fancy ball handling to score from mid-range or get to the rim, and trust me, that has its merits, but it's also exhausting. Devin Booker is all fundamentals though. No wasted energy, no wasted movement. What makes this effective is understanding he is a catch-and-go threat, always keeping the defense unsure of his next movement, and that he's such a threat from mid-range as one of the better shooters in the NBA from that range. If he turns and faces you and you're too close, he'll rip through and get to the rim in a single dribble, no wasted movement. If you're out of position, he'll attack you without hesitating and force the foul. If you're on his hip, it's already over. He's too big and too strong to let that stop him. He'll throw you off balance and hit a dagger in your face with one dribble, no wasted movement. He'll pump fake you out of position or jab step you into a dizzy then beat you with one dribble. If he catches the ball like this in the high post and he's protecting it like this, just go to the bench because he's about to embarrass you, especially 
if you're the Dallas Mavericks. Watch this one. Dear God, it's nasty. But it's important to rewind to understand how Justin Jackson got in this much trouble in the first place. This is the play immediately before that one. The jab steps threaten the drive. Then he just pulls up in his face, kind of like Carmelo Anthony does because he's too tall and he's got too good of touch to need anything else. The next play, Book's pump fake is a real threat because the pull up just killed Justin Jackson on the previous play. That's when he hits him with the step back in the pull up. One dribble, no wasted movement. This style of basketball, these places where he's catching the ball is almost always reserved for big men now. But being a threat from everywhere and mastering the fundamentals has allowed Book to weaponize the triple threat in a way where he can embarrass guys like this. When you have it all, the mid-range, the jab, the drive, the step back, the pull up, the pump fake, then you can put it all together and do something like this. Shot clock at 10, Booker with it. Played to Kentucky for a season. Didn't start oh, no. a while. Nice oh. fake, and he drops the sledgehammer. Pretty play by Devin Booker. See how he throws him? I called this video How Devin Booker Scores Part 1 because this is just part of his game. There's so much more he can do, but because this is a relatively unique part for a guard, I wanted to cover it. Maybe we'll have more videos on this soon because we haven't even talked about how he utilizes screens yet. Devin Booker is a unique player in today's NBA game. There's not a lot of players that you can compare him to now. That's why it's fun to watch him. He's different. Going forward, we'll talk a little bit more about what he can and cannot do. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Follow me on Twitter at ProtectedPick and listen to our podcast, The Timeline of Phoenix Suns Podcast.